Okay, today we're going to talk about spinning from the fold. So, I just have some merino top. And I'm going to take some pieces of this and just break off chunks. And I do this in, in advance so that I can just keep spinning. Um, I'm not doing any pre-drafting. Sometimes um, if I feel like it's too thick, I, I take it and pull it in half like that, but no pre-drafting. Then fold it over my finger and pull out just a little bit from the center so that I have something to attach it to the leader or the yarn that's already on there. Do a little bit of worsted drafting to begin with. This is the way you can spin from the fold in a worsted method. Um, now if you want to do a woolen method of spinning a long draw, um, it's good to have your whirl uh, have your drive band on the smallest whirl that you can so that you can get twist in there fast enough. And then you just start to draw back. And my front hand can either do nothing or can control the twist and how fast it goes in. And I hold it out a little bit so that I know that enough twist goes in because sometimes when you're doing some long draw, you don't get enough twist in if you get a little overexcited and try to go too fast. And so that's why I like to have it on the fastest whirl because I can speed up my spinning. Now right there, there's a thin part I don't like and so I'm going to go back and catch that on. Drag it back and fix that thin part. Now when you're spinning from the fold, you can start out over your finger and then um, drop it if you need to. Just pick it up again and go back to spinning right where you were. I don't like this chunk, so I throw that away. It's okay to do that because the sheep are growing more. As we speak, they are. So don't worry about wasting it. Don't worry about um, throwing anything away because there's always more wool. And this is a, if this is a new thing for you to try, you've got to practice. And it's better to practice on something good that's going to be easier to spin. Also, the secret with your rear hand, the hand that's holding the fiber, is to have a very light touch. Um, you don't want to be grabbing it because if you grab it like this and try to hold on to it, there's not. It's going to be very difficult to draft. But if you hold it back a little bit, loosen your grip, the drafting is a lot easier. There's a thick part. I'm going to go back and fix that. A little bit of untwisting, a little bit of drafting, and it's all fixed up. And that's it. So now let's. we're going to talk about... Um, long draw with a spindle. With this, with the drop spindle, I'm going to use a top whirl spindle for this, but it's going to be the same thing for the low whirl. Um, I have spun all the way to the end and I'm coming in about four inches here and I have my little V pulled out so it can um, join together. So I'm going to start that in and start spinning. Now, my finger is in the fold, but it doesn't need to stay there. 
lengths and you can see that I can long draw with this. And when the spindle slows down, of course, you need to go back and put some more twist in there. So my left hand is pulling sideways. And if you spin this way, you can get a lot more length on because you're going to go in an L shape. Um, if you need to get it to twist up, do a little butterfly. Get your spindle up here. Get it spinning again. And then you can pull out again. Now what's happening here is my left hand has the drafting triangle. My right hand is moving to adjust for twist and let twist go up. So now I'm going to do a butterfly Mom, why don't and you wind on. So once I get all that length wound on there, wrap it around again, get the twist going. This is a place where um, it's helpful to have a spindle that'll spin for a long time and fast because you can get a lot of work done. I'm going to throw that away because I don't like it. Let me wind this on and start again. Hey, Mom. Shh. There's my join. There's my drafting triangle. There's some twist. And I can do a long draw with the spindle and get a lot of length on here. Now there, I don't have enough twist and my spindle is slowing down and see how it's drifting apart. Because I let my, my spindle slow down too much. So you need to make sure as you're doing this that you have enough spin on your spindle There, so I'm going to let the twist go in. Again, a big thing that's important with this is to have your left hand, your fiber hand, um, loose. You don't want to be grabbing the fiber. You want to let it go. Now I'm going to butterfly. Get that piece out of there. I think I need a little more twist here, so I'm just going to give it a little more twist and let it out. Butterfly up and wind it on. And that is how easy it is.